Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome back. Excel VBA is fun. Today we're going to do a quick thing on uh, font type. Uh, some questions I've been asked about. How do you change the font? How do you change features of the font? So I'm, we're just going to go over that really quick. And the best way to find all the features, of course, is to go to your developer ribbon and record a macro. Yeah, surprise, surprise, right? So let's go ahead and just uh, let's just click here. Go to the home ribbon and let's change the let's change the font to Argo, change it to Edelon, and then we'll change it back to Calibre, the default. And I'm going to highlight. Uh, no, I'll, I'll stop it there. Click Developer, stop recording, and I'm going to hit Alt F11. We're going to go double click here on the module, module one. So let's look what happened. First, range two. Range B2 down select, so that's what we did. We clicked on B2 and selected it. Then they said with, so you notice anytime there's a with, end with statement, everything is indented that is being changed. So with selection dot font dot name equals Argo, selection dot font dot size equals 11, selection dot font dot you get it. The strike through equals false with so no strikes through. Superscript is false. Subscript, all these extra features you really don't need when you're changing just the font name. So, but it teaches you kind of what you, what features you could change with something dot font dot whatever size dot size dot font dot shadow equals whatever. So let's just do that on our own. Let's see, I, we can try to change this to Times New Roman, maybe by ourselves. Let's uh, open up a new procedure at the bottom. And we'll call this sub times font, or something like that. So, we are going to say uh, range, let's change C1, range C1 dot font tab dot and so here's all the different things you can do with the dot font dot uh, objects here so you got the dot underline dot superscript dot whatever theme color dot bold font dot and we were just wanting to do the font dot name I believe so the font name equals let's make it times new oops times New Roman and hopefully that'll work so um, let's put something in here test this cell okay so I'm not even going to click on it. I'm going to click over here and let's go back to our Visual Basic let's see if that worked hit F8 F8 so we're going to change C1's font.name if you hover over it currently it says it equals Calibri but in quotes we've told it that we want it to equal quote times New Roman so let's see if that's a valid font to change to hit F8 and you can see that it did change if you hover over it it says that it is times New Roman so very interesting if I click here and go to the home ribbon sure enough we've changed it to times New Roman so other things that we could do is we could, uh, what else was in there? So range c1.font.name equals times new roman. How about uh, taking the um, size equals 21. Let's do that. So you'd have to create another uh, instance of this. So, copy and paste. Range C1 dot font dot size equals uh, 35. And let's hit F8. Okay. Let's change it back to 11. Hit, or excuse me, hit F5. I hit F5 to run, ran through the whole thing. F5. How about if we change this to Calibri and hit F5? But if we change it to, um, oh heck, I'm, I'm out of ideas. How about Courier New? Courier New. And we're going to make it 35. And uh, 
we'll also take one more here. Dot font dot straight through equals true. Ooh, okay, so if I hit F5, it's going to be courier new font. It's going to be size 35, so it'll be pretty big. And then it'll have a strike through, which equals true. So there will be a strike through instead of being false where there is no strike through currently. So let me hit F5. Let's just watch what happens. F5. So it's courier new. It's size 35. And it does have a strike through. How about if I change that to false? Hit F5. Took the strike through out. So I think you get the picture. Um, so thank you so much for watching.